Welcome to the newsroom. I am Simisola Adikun. The Senate Public Accounts Committee on Thursday raised a serious objection to the productivity allowance being paid to staff of the National Agency for Food Drug Administration and Control, NAFTAC, amounting to 324 million naira without any approval from the National Salaries, Income and Wages Commission. The SPAC at its sitting, presided over by the acting chairman of the committee, Sulaiman Hadeja, hinged its objection to the alleged illegal increment of NAFTAC staff allowance in the 2016 report of the Auditor General of the Federation. The Director General of NAFTAC, Mujisala Adeyeye, who admitted that the approval had not been granted by the NSIWC, said that work was still ongoing on the approval. Six civil servants, 15 others, including unspecified number of humanitarian workers, have been kidnapped at different locations in a day in Dambua, Borno State, by Boko Haram terrorists. Security sources confirmed that the attack on Thursday, while the state commissioner of works, Yeri Masale, confirmed the abduction of six of his staff along Chibok Dambua Road. Saleh added that security agencies are intensifying efforts to rescue the victims unhurt. A disabilities rights group, Center for Citizens with Disabilities, has called on the president, on President Muhammadu Buhari, to assent to the Electoral Act 2021. This was contained in a statement signed by the CD, CCD's executive director, David Anyele, who noted that the bill removes barriers that limit persons with disabilities from participating in electoral processes. The CCD also called on state governments to adopt the Disabilities Rights Act, stressing that failure to adopt the act is an endorsement of discrimination against persons with disabilities. A total of 73 persons have so far died of COVID-19 in Plateau State since May 2020 when the state recorded the first death resulting from the pandemic. The Commissioner for Health, Nim Kongla, who stated this while giving an update on the pandemic, also disclosed that a total of 221,502 persons have been vaccinated against the disease in the state as the state government is poised to vaccinate a total number of 2 million by the end of, by the end of January 2022. The Consular General Consulate of the Consulate General of Brazil, Francisco Carlos Liz, says the bilateral trade between Nigeria and Brazil has grown by 30% since 2019, adding that the two countries are experiencing a trade balance. The Brazilian ambassador who spoke on the improving trade relations between both countries said trade is beneficial to both Nigeria and Brazil and that despite the COVID-19 pandemic, bilateral trade between both countries is complete with no huge surplus on either side. Son of Libya's longtime ruler, Muammar Gaddafi, has been given the go ahead to run in the country's upcoming presidential election. Saif al Islam Gaddafi's lawyer, Khalid al Zaidi, who confirmed the news on Thursday, said the court has accepted his client's appeal to be reinstated in the presidential election scheduled to commence later in December. Gaddafi, who is wanted by the International Criminal Court for alleged war crime, had registered to run on November 14, but was among 25 candidates whose bids were rejected by the elections board last week. Ahead of the 2022 African Men's Foot Handball Championship scheduled to hold in Morocco, all 30 players invited by the technical advisor of the Senior Men National Handball, handball Team, Rafi Salami, have arrived at camp. The 30 players arrived in Abuja for camping after the Executive Board of the Handball Federation of Nigeria approved the list of players for preparation for the 25th edition of the Nations Cup. The African Men Handball Championship, which will hold from January 13 to 23, 2022, is the African qualifying tournament for the 2023 World Men's Handball Championship in Poland and Sweden. That's all on the newsroom now. Join us next time for more news updates. I'm Simi Solajiko.